Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Dustin Poirier. All right, so here is Dustin Poirier making the walk for yet another big UFC spot here tonight. UFC 236 was his coming out party, DC. He ended Max Holloway's 13-fight winning streak, and in a near-perfect performance in a lot of respects, was able to realize a UFC in a lightweight time. They say diamonds are forever, and so is Dustin Poirier. It seems like he's been here the whole time. We've seen this young man grow up in the UFC. We saw him at 145 pounds have a ton of success, but we've truly seen him come into his own as he's going up to lightweight become a UFC interim champion, and he's beat guys like Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, and Max Holloway. One of the best fighters at 155 is Dustin Poirier. And with Dustin Poirier and Daniel Cormier safe to say that Lafayette, Louisiana has made a pretty good UFC footprint over the last few I years. Love Dustin Poirier back on the proving ground here today. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Poirier is one year the elder. Oliveira will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the challenger, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles Dobrox Oliveira! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, provide your pain. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He would appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. 
Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Nice straight punch. Oh, look, Archer, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedown. Oh, he's attacking choke now. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, six seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and still... So there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world. A lot of steam here during fight week that maybe there were a few things that could plague him tonight. Looked as good as ever for my money. He looked as good as he's ever looked.